Hey there, Coyote Pack. You know what time it is. It's time for the question of the week. Welcome back, everyone. Man, we had a bunch of great questions this past week, but the one question that keeps popping up, which we also got this past week from Holly Grinlight is, Coyote, what's your favorite animal that you've gotten to show on video so far? Now, Holly, I've been fortunate enough to work with a bunch of really cool animals. Grizzly bears, American alligators, Gila monsters, multiple species of snakes, and of course, tons and tons of snapping turtles. But the one animal that truly stands out to me is the American badger. This is an animal that I have loved since I was a little kid. I used to draw pictures of badgers, I used to read books on badgers, I used to travel across the country with my mom and sister, and I would stare out the window as we were driving through Montana and Wyoming, all these prairie states just hoping to see a badger. So to get the chance to work with Moxie when we were in Bozeman, Montana, for me, was a once in a lifetime experience. Now, a lot of you have looked at Moxie and said, wow, how did you get that close to a badger? Well, Moxie was raised in captivity, so she's pretty used to being around humans. But before I actually got close to her, the trainers did say to me, now Coyote, it's a badger. It's one of the most ferocious members of the weasel family, so you have to be extremely careful. Now, we didn't know how Moxie would interact with me, so what I did is move very, very slowly, kind of like this on the ground, crawling up to her. And as she became more and more comfortable with me, I became more comfortable with her. That is the American badger right there. The feisty cousin is everybody's favorite, the famous honey badger. Badgers will stand up to bears, packs of wolves, mountain lions, you name it, the badger fears absolutely no animal. So what was it like uh, hearing her gnawing the meat right next to you? Did, did, were you starting to worry about your fingers at all? Or? Oh yeah, I was, because we all know that sometimes they get the cameras too close to animals and I end up getting bitten by something. And when you get that close to the face of a badger, I mean, their canine teeth are extremely long and she's just nah, 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 chomping down on that meat. And I literally, I mean, the camera was just a couple inches away from her snout. Uh, it was pretty nerve wracking, but I felt so comfortable with her that I didn't think she was gonna mistake my fingers for a piece of her deer meat. It's kind of funny, by the end of that shoot, the trainers that were responsible for Moxie actually started calling me the Badger Whisperer because they had never seen her interact with anybody the way that she did with me. And for me, that truly was heartwarming because this is an animal that I've loved my entire life and to just get the chance to be that close to one um, was an experience that I don't think I'll ever forget. So my favorite animal that we've had on camera so far is definitely the Badger. And the other question that I often get is Coyote, what animal would you most like to get in front of the camera? In Coyote Pack, I'll tell you right now, that is the big cousin of the badger, the wolverine. Now this is one of the most elusive animals on our planet. They're extremely difficult to ever come across in the wild, and even finding one that's being raised in captivity as an ambassador for its species has been almost impossible. But don't worry, we're working really hard, and hopefully in a future episode of Breaking Trail, you will see me getting you up close with the Wolverine. Thanks for all the great questions this past week. Keep writing in, you never know. Next week, I might be out here in the field answering your question. I'm Coyote Peterson, be brave, stay wild. We'll see you next week, Coyote Pack. You gonna wear gloves? Uh, no, I'm definitely not gonna wear gloves. I thought about wearing gloves originally, and I'm just gonna go for this. Like, if I take a bite, I'm putting myself into the situation. I'm aware of the danger. As long as I'm careful, obviously I'm not gonna be dangling my fingers out there like little carrot treats. Safety first.